No rapper on earth would ever want to find themselves in YNW Melly's shoes. His court case has had so many ups and downs that he must feel like a yo-yo. It's starting to look like he might spend the rest of his life behind bars. One day, it looks like he might get a break, and the next, he feels like he's living a nightmare. And his life in prison? I'm sure you don't need me to tell you how much he wishes he was a free man. Keep watching till the end of this video to see what's really happening to YNW Melly behind bars. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Before we get into the video, I want to give a quick shout out to the number one celebrity jeweler, the Ice Champ. The Ice Champ is doing a special deal for the next 24 hours on diamond watches, chains, and more. Follow at the Ice Champ on Instagram now. YNW Melly's lawyers beg for his release. Attorneys for YNW Melly filed an application for bond for the incarcerated rapper as he awaited his second trial for first-degree murder charges. YNW Melly's first trial resulted in a mistrial in June, and the prosecution prepared for the new trial in October. YNW Melly is being represented by attorneys Stuart Adelstein, Raven Liberty, and Jamie Benjamin. YNW Melly has remained in custody for over five years. He had never requested a bond hearing before. His co-defendant, YNW Bortland, was similarly charged with first-degree murder plus an additional two counts of accessory after the fact. The memorandum of law filed by YNW Melly's attorneys acknowledges that YNW Melly is charged with non-bondable offenses. The court, however, has the discretion to grant bail even in capital cases as outlined by the precedent State v. Harper 1980. Since the criteria for denial of bond is that the proof of guilt is evident and the presumption is great that the defendant committed the crimes charged, the defendant submits that he must be granted reasonable bail, his lawyers wrote. In fact, the proof evident presumption great standard is stronger than proof beyond a reasonable doubt to deny a defendant a bond, they continued. The attorneys were basing their application on the fact that YNW Melly's mistrial was proof that the state failed to satisfy the burden of proof that Melly had committed the crime of first-degree murder. Since the standard of proof to deny a defendant bond or bail is the highest standard of proof and the state failed to do so, the defendant is entitled to a bond the memorandum said. YNW Melly's bond request denied. YNW Melly was reportedly denied bond again before the retrial of his double murder case. According to NBC South Florida, he was forced to remain in jail until his new trial started on October 9th. Previously, YNW Melly's legal team were unhappy that his co-defendant, Court and YNW Bortland Henry, who faces the same charges, had been granted bond even though he faced the same charges. They argued that Melly should be given the same treatment. After careful consideration, the court finds that the state has met its burden of demonstrating that the proof of guilt is evident and the presumption of guilt is great, the judge's order read. The juror's inability to reach a unanimous verdict does not alter the nation or the weight of the evidence of the defendant's guilt. Leandra Phillips, the mother of YNW Juvie, one of YNW Melly's alleged murder victims, also spoke during the hearing via Zoom, saying she feared for her safety if Melly were to be freed. I don't think he should receive bond, she told the court. He's innocent until proven guilty, but he has money, and I don't want anything to happen to me and my family. No bond, please. According to WTVJ, the Broward County State Attorney's Office confirmed in July that they would retry the case again and that both sides could refine their strategies. The double murder trial of YNW Melly ended on July 22nd with a deadlock jury. A unanimous verdict is required to convict or acquit a defendant charged with murder. Judge John Murphy had twice asked jurors to keep deliberating after they were deadlocked, but the jury came back a third time with the same result. According to prosecutors, ballistics tests showed the victims were shot from inside a Jeep Compass on October 26, 2018. But defense lawyers point to the fact that a gun was never recovered and assert that Melly had no apparent motive for the crime. YNW Melly tried escaping prison in the past. Back in 2022, after years of being locked behind bars, YNW Melly tried to stage a prison break, but the attempt was unsuccessful. The news of his prison break made media rounds after the Florida Sheriff's Office announced it in September of 2022. It turns out that YNW Melly not only tried to break out of prison, but one of his lawyers went as far as teaming up to assist him with that attempted escape. As a result, a hearing was called against Melly. During the hearing, the prosecutors claimed Melly had 
had teamed up with one of the inmates and his lawyer to get out. The prosecutors said on April 11, 2022, Broward Sheriff's Office received a confidential tip regarding inmates Nicholas Lewis and Jamel Demons, both housed in the same unit at the main jail, planning an escape from jail by having Demons' attorney bring in two handcuff keys to aid in the escape. Additional information provided by the source was that Lewis had a shank and drugs. They further revealed that the prison authorities acted on a tip that they received from another inmate. The inmate informed the authorities that Nicholas Lewis had a makeshift shank. So without wasting time, they searched the cell of Nicholas Lewis and discovered a six inch shank, two razor blades, two lighters, and rolling papers. Nicholas Lewis was also holding Seroquel and Clonopin pills, for which he did not have a prescription. The snitch also told them that Lewis was working together with Melly, whose cell was next to Lewis. On finding those items, they proceeded to search YNW Melly's cell, but found nothing. The confidential source gave us two pieces of information. One of them about the shank and drugs turned out to be 100% true, explained Christian Sabanis, assistant general counsel for the Broward Sheriff's Office in court. And when they did the search of Demon's cell, they did not find the handcuff key, but it could have been that there was not an opportunity to bring it into the facility yet. This statement sparked a reaction from the media, with some fans claiming that Melly was innocent and the prosecutors were doing just about anything to tie Melly to the murders. More charges are filed against YNW Melly. The state has filed additional charges against rapper YNW Melly, his co-defendant, and a third person. Melly notably appeared in plain clothes as the first phase of jury selection began in the rapper's double murder retrial. The charges were added to the recently filed tampering with a witness case. These include directing the activities of a criminal gang, unlawful use of a two-way communication device, as well as solicitation and conspiracy to commit tampering. Melly was back in a Broward courtroom days after a judge removed the lead prosecutor in the rapper's double murder trial. A hearing in the case began shortly after 9 a.m. and lasted for more than an hour as prosecutors and defense attorneys argued over the start of the retrial. The state asked the judge to delay the trial so the new prosecutor would have time to review it, but the defense pushed for it to begin, arguing that the rapper has a right to a speedy trial. Broward Circuit Judge John Murphy ultimately decided that they would go ahead with the first phase of jury selection. That phase entails questioning potential jurors who may have scheduling or other issues. Murphy granted the defense's motion to recuse prosecutor Christine Bradley with an abundance of caution after defense attorneys claimed prosecutors didn't reveal that the lead detective in the case had been previously accused of being willing to lie as he gathered evidence. The judge didn't find that Bradley's integrity had been compromised, but but agreed that she couldn't serve as a prosecutor on the case if the defense was planning to call her as a witness regarding the credibility of one of the investigators. YNW Melly faces a possible death sentence if convicted of first-degree murder.